American politician and member of the U.S. Senate, Dianne Feinstein, who was also the mayor of San Francisco for more than 10 years, she was the first woman to be elected mayor of San Francisco. Dianne passed away on 29 September 2023. Feinstein was elected to the United States Senate in 1992 and has served in that position ever since. Her three decades in the Senate made her the longest serving female U.S. Senator in history. She led the renovation of the city's cable car system, which had been in disrepair for many years. If we talk about Diane's love life, she was married to Richard C. Blum from 1980 to Richard's death in 2023. She died of natural causes at the age of 90. British actor Jake Abraham, who is being remembered for his work on popular TV shows and movies such as Blonde Fist, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, and the 51st State, Jake passed away on 1 October 2023. He died of prostate cancer. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer earlier this year. Jake leaves behind his wife, actress and singer, Joanna Taylor, and their two children, American football player, Russ Francis, who is best known for playing alongside teams like New England Patriots and San Francisco 49ers. He was a tight end for 13 seasons in the National Football League. Russ passed away on 1 October 2023. Russ was a member of the 49ers Super Bowl 99 championship team. He and another aviation enthusiast died in a small plane crash after takeoff from an airport in upstate New York. Russ was 70 years old. He had been a pilot for almost 50 years and was an enthusiastic flyer. Russ was a respected member of the NFL community and he will be missed by many. Tony winner, American actor, Michael McGrath, who's best known for showing his acting skills in movies and TV shows, such as Changing Lanes, Spam a Lot, The Secret of Kells and The Interpreter. McGrath died on the 14th of September, 2023, at the age of 65, following a long battle with cancer. Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, The Good Wife, and Blue Bloods are among his television credits. McGrath was best known for his work on Broadway, where he won a Tony Award for his performance in Nice Work If You Can Get It. Every role he played was a scene stealer, and he brought a unique energy and charisma. He survived by his wife, Tony De Bueno, and their daughter, Katie. English actress Jean Boat, who's best known for showing her acting skills in movies and TV shows such as Bread, Funny Man, Distant Voices, and Still Lives. Jean died on the 12th of September, 2023. She died of complications from dementia at the age of 91. Her biggest popularity came from her regular part as Nellie Boswell, the matriarch, in the sitcom Bread from 1986 to 1991, which attracted almost 20 million people. Boat was the subject of the 1989 television biopic This Is Your Life. She was the winner of the British Comedy Award for Outstanding TV Comedy Actress. Boat was a versatile actress who could play a wide range of roles. American football player Mike Williams, wide receiver who played in the National Football League or NFL for 12 seasons. He played for teams like Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Buffalo Bills, and Kansas City Chiefs. During the 2016 offseason, he concluded his career on the Kansas City Chiefs roster. Mike died on September 8, 2023. He died of complications from a construction accident at the age of 36. Tampa police have opened an investigation into his death. After learning that Mike Williams, a former NFL player, may have received illegal narcotics from someone while in the hospital following an accident on a construction site, he survived by his wife Charity and their three children. In addition to being a success on the field, he was a nice and giving person who was always prepared to help others. American news anchor correspondent Felicia Taylor who worked for CNN International's World Business Today, 
CNBC Cable Networks and CNBC Cable Networks as a weekend anchor for the WNBC in New York. Taylor died on September 8, 2023, at her home. She was 59 years old. No cause of death is revealed yet. Taylor was the daughter of the actor Rod Taylor, who starred in Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. She is survived by her husband, Peter Gottsagen, whom she married in November 2021. Aside from her dedication to her work, she was also known for her dedication to her viewers. She was always willing to go the extra mile to get the story. Guinness World Record holder and American comedian Geechee Guy, known for his unique style of humor that blended observational comedy with quirky one-liners and wordplay. Geechee passed away in September 2023. He died of lung cancer at the age of 59. At the age of six, he began his career as a magician. He then pursued juggling and unicycling until the age of 19, when he turned to comedy. Geechee had appeared on numerous television shows, including The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Late Night with David Letterman, and Conan. He most recently made an appearance on television on the sixth season of America's Got Talent as a contestant. Geechee Guy held the Guinness World Record for telling the most jokes in an hour, 676. Italian film director Giuliano Montaldo, who's best known for his work on popular movies such as Machine Gun McCain, Sacco and Vanzetti, and Gordiano Bruno. Montaldo died in September 2023. He died at the age of 93. No cause of death is revealed yet. He was the winner of the Golden Lion for his film Sacco and Vanzetti in 1971. He was also awarded the David Di Donatello for the Best Director for his film Gli Occhialdi di Oro in 1988. In 1971, he was a member of the jury on the 7th Moscow International Film Festival. He was a true master of Italian cinema, and his legacy will live on for many years to come. Legendary Scottish actor John Kearney, who's being remembered for his work on popular movies and TV shows such as A Night to Remember, Cleopatra, Jason, and the Argonauts. John passed away in September 2023. He died of natural causes at the age of 93. In 1957, Kearney made his film debut in the British drama Night Ambush. Kearney was a true pioneer of the one-man show. He was one of the first actors to perform solo shows on a regular basis. He wrote and published several books, including an autobiography and collections of his poems. If we talk about Kearney's love life, he was married to actress Alana O'Sullivan since 1980. He survived by Alana and five children from his first marriage. Kearney was a critically acclaimed stage actor and painter. He left behind a legacy of inspiring artists and audiences alike. His influence can still be seen in the performing arts today.